Welcome to your channel, A Moment with Rokwaru, your popular family therapist and a relationship coach. As I've always been pointed in my past videos, I have got a lot of interest with the family as an institution and also the relationship between human beings. As a sociologist, as a counselor, the human interaction is very, very important. Many relationships are affected because of 40 interactions. Today, I'm going to discuss on how can you have healthy relationships. Healthy relationships where you are happy and your partner is happy. If you want to have only to have healthy relationship, it's important to be honest with your friend. Communicate openly and truthfully. Honesty is very important. Secondly, is the aspect of support. Support your friend. Support each other's choices. Be also honest to them. If they have also made their own these wrong choices, advise them, but to make leave them to make the final decision. Offer encouragement for them. Even when they are undergoing difficult moments, offer encouragement. Listen to them non-judgmental. Listen to them when they are sharing their concern. Listen to them. Don't make judgment. Don't be biased. Value their opinions. The third point is cooperation. It's important. Cooperation is very important. Accept change. If your father, if your friend has undergone change, accept that change. Make decisions together. If there is critical something to be done together, please make them together and you should be willing to compromise. Get to a situation where you make a decision where you are going to have a win-win resolution to a conflict. If there is a conflict, make sure it is handled where everyone wins and none loses. The fourth point is the aspect of trust. How does it come? It comes through accepting each other's world and also giving the benefit of doubt. Sometimes your friend might tell you something and you are not believing, but give them a benefit of doubt. The fifth point is the aspect of accountability. You should be accountable to your partner. What do I mean? How do you become accountable? You become accountable by admitting mistakes when wrong. When wrong, accept your wrong and ask for forgiveness. Apologize. Say, I'm sorry. Don't hold one ground. It's going to affect the relationship. I accept the responsibility for certain behavior. If there are certain behavior which is, which is not okay, accept it. Tell your person, this is the way I am. Probably I may not change or I might take long to change. Bear with me. The person is going to respect you, is going to honor you, and we will feel this is a honest person. When you are with your friend, finally, the person should feel safe in your presence. How do they feel safe? You should not try to intimidate or manipulate them. Some people in a relationship and they try to intimidate. Sometimes you shut your friend down. Sometimes you shout to them. Sometimes you should you try to demean them, showing them how weak they are and how you know better than them. It's going to make them not feel safe in my presence. Despite also physical space. What do I mean by physical space? Don't be going to their place 
unless you have informed them or unless they have allowed you. Know the boundaries. Know the social boundaries. Know when to intervene. Know your space. Even if they have got a problem with their friends, don't rush to solving their problem. Make sure you know your boundaries and you play it safe. Respect physical boundaries. If you don't respect the physical boundaries, they are going to feel affected. And they might feel that this is relationship is not healthy. You are trying to interfere with them and they would like that relationship to break. And finally, express yourself non-voluntary. Even if you have got an issue, don't become combative. Don't use false words. Don't use gestures which are going to be threatening, folding your fist and, have, and trying to beat the tables. Don't do that. That one is going to make the relationship unhealthy. Thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you are going to learn how to make your relationship healthy with your friend. And I would encourage you to make some suggestions in my channel, A Moment with Rukwaru, and also suggest where I can improve the, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. I value you.